found a problem. Now here on the exterior unit, I'm very happy with how it looks. How you mount it to the unit itself, or to our RV, or your semi-truck, looks very simple and straightforward. And this is where I found the problem. I found these in the box. Just in the box. The box was kind of broken. And the side over here. You can see this plastic was broken here. So I removed the screws from this outer shell here, this white outer shell, to inspect the damage. It's kind of holding it all together. It's holding the condenser, the fan, and it's, it's pretty broken. So we're talking to Amazon, trying to get a hold of the company, seeing what we can do. I tried a phone number. When I dial that phone number, this is what I get. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please hang up and redial the number, including the area code. We've contacted Amazon. There's a 48-hour window for them to respond to us, so we're not sure how this is going to go. Overall, I think the unit looks very nice, and for our application, it's going to work pretty well. And for our budget, it was less than a thousand dollars. We have a 12 volt scroll compressor down here. I'm not an HVAC expert. So I really don't know what a scroll compressor is, except the marketing suggests that it's more efficient than a rotary compressor. We have a fan here, it looks very automotive. It looks like a pusher or puller fan you may install extra on your radiator or transmission cooler on your truck. I had one on my old truck and it looks very similar to that. Then there's the condenser or the evaporator. I think it's a condenser. It's right behind there. It looks like a radiator. Now, as far as quality goes, it's pretty beefy-ish. I don't know how strong it needs to be, how strong the housing needs to be. These are marketed for semi-trucks. So I would hope that they're pretty strong because a semi truck is on a road quite a bit, more than our RV is. So I would hope it could handle the rough roads here in America that we have. Because those semi trucks, they drive a lot more than our RVs on the road. So I would hope it'd be pretty robust. But at less than $1,000, I don't know. Now this housing, it's a housing. It's not the best. It's not the worst, but it looks really good. And when I hold it up on the back of the RV, right where I want to mount it, it looks pretty darn good, I think. Now, this is labeled 12 volt. Can you see that right there? It's labeled 12 volt. Now, even though it states 12 volts on that little yellow sticker on the case, when you read the instructions supplied with this, it goes back between 24 volts and 12 volts. Like... It wasn't proofread, or they're not sure which voltage it is. It's a little confusing, but with my knowledge of 12 volt systems and amperage and watts, it kind of sounds like the person who wrote this was confused. So I don't think I can trust it. Now it does have some technical terms on the HVAC side or on the refrigerant side and the oil side, but I'm not familiar with those terms and I don't think I can trust this, what it says, just because the electricity side doesn't seem to be correct either. So I'm really hoping it's 12 volt. Now this is rated at 10,000 BTU according to the Amazon webpage. But on the webpage of the company, Trilago? How do you say that, Lauren? Trilago? 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 I don't know. I can't find this particular unit. But I did find it on another company's webpage called King Clima, and it was rated at like 12,000 BTU. So I don't know if this thing's 8,000 BTU, 10,000 BTU, or 12,000 BTU. I can't find a good data sheet on it. So this is out of my norm. Usually I like a lot of data. I like specifications on everything we've installed. So why did I buy this mini split 12 volt air conditioner? Well, it was the cost less than a thousand dollars for both these units nine hundred and fifty nine dollars it came out just over a thousand dollars with the extra shipping so i can get it here within a week and taxes 
So I thought that's pretty good and it was within our budget. Now we've been saving up for a cruise and comfort 12 volt air conditioning system and we just haven't saved up enough yet and our air conditioner, well, we're gonna have to replace it anyway. So I thought, you know what, this is in the budget. Sometimes the budget sets what you buy that season and um, we thought we'd try this and it's a gamble. We might be out a thousand dollars. I don't know. Now here on the interior unit, you have a fuse, the plug that goes to the exterior unit, a drain and the part where the refrigerant hose is attached. Now this is the bottom of the unit. Moving up here, I imagine that this flap here moves down. I think it's on a motor. I can't really move it. I don't want to force it. So I believe when you turn it on, it will open up like a mini split you'd see in a home or a commercial building. If you pull up on the edges here, and it's a little awkward, you can open up about that far. That's all you can open up. And you can see we got the motor over here. We got the fins there. And back here is an air filter. And you can remove that air filter by pushing up on these tabs. And it's in a track and it slides right out. Almost like a lint trap on a dryer. I believe you can just wash this off and reinstall it. I know on our rooftop air conditioner, we get a lot of dust in there. So I'm excited to see an air filter on here. And I'm excited that it's so easily removable. There's one on this side and there's one on that side. They're identical. As far as the wiring goes that was supplied, it's adequate. It's not super high quality wire by no means. This plug, I'm not sure what type of plug it is. I've never seen it. It's like an off brand of a um, Anderson connector. The wiring though is not marked and the fuse quality, not so impressive. In fact, I'm not gonna use this fuse at all. I'm going to replace it with a Brager or a better quality fuse. What bothers me is the wiring is not marked. Now, my fear is, and chances are, this is probably aluminum wire. So I, I think I'm gonna chuck the whole thing. Now, I read somewhere on their website, if we were going to use or need a longer wire, cause this wire is not very long, to contact them. Well, we're trying to contact them to fix our broken housing here. We can't get a hold of them. And I want to extend this wire. I think for the length I need to run about 20 feet from my batteries, I need two gauge wiring and I would prefer a higher quality wire. That's just me. There's another wire here that's adequate. It's for the controller. There's four wires. Um, it's split loom. Why they didn't put the loom all the way to the end of the wires, I'm really not sure. But this side plugs into here. This side plugs into the interior unit. And they gave you 11 feet of refrigerant hose. Now, I don't know if that term is correct or not, but I do know that these are hoses and you need to put refrigerant into this machine. There's two of them supplied. One's the high side, one's the low side. One came with insulation, one did not. The one that did come with insulation, again, they didn't take it all the way to the end. I'm not sure why. Okay quality, maybe? Again, I'm not an expert in HVAC systems, but the crimps look good. This here remote, this here remote, <laughs> this remote here seems to be your only controls for this air conditioner. There's no controls on the interior unit or the exterior unit. Seems to be your on and off. You got a mode, a fan. Oh, that'd be cool. A fan mode. I bet that's really low amperage. Turbo, LED, I don't know what that means. Voltage, oh, maybe you can check the voltage. That would be cool. Swing, oh, maybe that, like this louvers back and forth. Sleep, light, temperature, timer, and eco mode. I don't know what eco mode is. I didn't read anything about that. So is this a good purchase or a bad purchase for $959? Well, I don't know. Let me talk to the company and see what they're gonna do about replacing this broken part which it arrived broken and see what their customer service is like. Cause I'm big on customer service. That's why we bought our heating systems from bricks and enterprises in 
Oregon, and that's why we bought our Wallace stovetop from Scan Marie. Uh, these are companies I can call on the telephone, even a telephone with a cord, and they will answer and help with any technical questions. So far with Trilago, I haven't gotten that at all, or King Clima, or whatever brand this is. As far as quality goes, it doesn't look horrible. It doesn't look the best. But if the ratings are correct on Amazon, and this is a 10,000 BTU unit for less than $1,000, and the way our particular fifth wheel is set up, it's going to work really well for us and our budget. So I'm looking forward to getting this installed and reporting back on how it's working. So until next time, remember to seek, learn, experience, and grow.